So let's have a look at password hashing with salt. Okay, so this is the standard method that we often use. Uh, we will take some data and we'll convert it into a fixed length hash signature. So this is MD5, 128 bit, 32 uh, hexadecimal characters. And with this, uh, we will always produce the same length for different sizes of, of data. Okay, so we see it in many places, especially in storing passwords, where uh, we have a one-way function from the password into hash value, such as in a, an NT4, MD4, NT hash for M with MD4, or with a Cisco device, where we'll see that the password is stored as a hash value. Okay, so let's have a quick look to see our our password. So there we go. There is the there's the password stored in there. So what we'll do is we'll just we'll just store that one. We'll just change it to a new one, and we'll make it uh, red one two three. Okay, so when we look at the password on our configuration file, we should hopefully see that it's been hashed. Okay, uh, so we'll have a little look at how that's generated in a little minute. But it doesn't look like a standard hash because it has dollars in it and there's too many characters. And the problem that we have with uh, hashing of passwords is that uh, it's possible to build up what's called a rainbow table uh, where a dictionary is created and then the the dictionary is each value in the dictionary is then hashed and then an intruder just picks off uh, the value with inside the, the rainbow table and reverses it back to the original uh, password. So what we normally do is we normally add a little bit of salt to make sure that there are some changes in the hashing process to make sure that we get a different password each time that we actually change it. And this was seen from uh, the, the Adobe Compromise, where many users used uh, the same password, 123456 in this case, and then the actual ciphertext was fairly easy to guess what the original password was. Okay, so what we have uh, when, we, when we create our, our salted hash value is that there are various fields defined between the dollars. The first field defines the type of hashing that we're going to use, in this case MD5. The next part actually shows the salt that has been used for the, for the hash. And the last one is the hash value itself with the salt. So when a user logs in, they'll log in with their password. The system pops off the salt value and then does it all, its own calculation to find what the salted hash value actually is. They then compare with this value, and if they're the same, then the user has the correct password. So let's actually have a look at this in operation. So OpenSSL is a, is a good uh, tool to be able to, to calculate these values. Okay, so there's Fred123. If we used a salt value of x, y, z, and this is what we get as a, as a password. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our Cisco device here and we'll use the salt value. Every time that we change the password, it will change the salt value. So salt value is P2IN here. And we use FRED123 and there we go. So that value is exactly the same as this value here, because we knew that we were using this salt value. We can also do the same on our web page here. So it's P to I N for the salt, and hopefully, uh, right, okay, it's red, one, two, three. Hopefully, we'll get the same salted hash. Okay, so there we go, that's perfect.